Testing. Testing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hello everyone, I'm Sally and I'm here with my camera making my first documentary. I've decided to explore the abandoned hospital on my own to see if the legends surrounding it are true. What was that? A hospital with a turbulent past where rumor has it that illegal experiments were conducted in the 1950s on patients without families. They were subjected to cruel medical practices to further medical advances. In short, they were guinea pigs against their will. I have to admit the place is scary, but I told myself, Sally, fear and a Pulitzer are incompatible. It's impossible to go up this staircase. There are stories about homeless people who have disappeared between these walls. And I was told about a technician from the city who came to do an inspection and was never heard from again. Just another of the many rumors going around about this place. The typical urban legends to scare children. Something moved. The old stains on that wall looked like a person. I think my imagination is playing tricks on me. Sally, calm down. Your imagination is playing tricks on you. Well, here we are, and yes, it certainly is creepy. What was that? I have to admit the place is scary, but I told myself, Sally, fear and a Pulitzer are incompatible. If my mom were here, she'd be scared to death. She's always believed in spirits and things like that. When I told her I was going to film the old hospital, she begged me to stay away from it. She told me some story about whoever goes in never comes out. Poor mom still thinks Satan lives inside the television. Oh my god, the motto of a good reporter is never stop recording. No matter what, always keep recording since the camera shows the naked truth. Amazing. It looked like there was a girl in there, but there was no one. Maybe the camera lens has a defect. If I'm not mistaken, this leads up to the operating rooms. It feels like the temperature has dropped. Relax and keep working. My research, someone told me that a girl came into the hospital. I don't remember what for. Maybe it was a bed or something. She disappeared and they looked for her for days. 
I was told she was found dead in the morgue, lying on a table with her face frozen in a mask of sadness. I tried to corroborate the incident in the local newspaper, but I didn't find anything. My God, the operating rooms. If these walls could talk, what stories they'd tell. What in the hell? What in the hell is that? I should go down. I'm afraid the battery is going to run out. The elevator still works. I think I'll go down. Maybe there's a lead for my story. So jumpy. Um, no, no. It can't be. It's impossible. I'm alive, aren't I? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> 